Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming by. It has been a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. So today I am doing a hairstyle using the needle and yarn cornrows technique. And I want to answer some of your questions. So it's a Q&A. <laughs> yeah so stay tuned but before we get into that i recently learned this trick that you can use when struggling to thread the needle yes to use gel at the end of the yarn like this it takes care of the flyaways and the yarn will go in very easily today i'm doing a mohawk hairstyle and the hair has just been washed and blood dried i moisturize the hair as i go along with a natural organics leave-in conditioner which will keep the hair moisturized for longer if you're putting hair away in a protective style you want to add a little bit more moisture so that it does not dry out whilst in the protective style in this video as i said earlier i just want to answer your questions okay <laughs> The first question is the size of needles that I use. Like this is quite a common question. Can someone post an Amazon link for the needle, please? What size or length is the needle? It's size 18 and it's the length of my palm. A shorter one will actually be better. And yes, I've got an Amazon link below. And the next question is, where can I find the needle? Any haberdashery shop that sells knitting yarn, knitting wool, knitting needles, they'll have it because I'm in South Africa, but I do have a lot of American viewers for my videos. So that's why I'm going to put the Amazon link here is a picture of the needle as well so please search for a big jersey sewing needle you will be sure to find it as long as a big needle and preferably bland so that no one gets hurt by mistake will this break the hair any hairstyle when done incorrectly it will break your hair so in this case i make sure i'm not pulling the yarn too tight the idea is to just wrap around let the yarn hold the hair down not to pull the hair together I'm sure you can see from what I'm doing here. It's not too tight, right? If you are new here, please check out my channel for more videos like this one. And whilst you're at it, please subscribe and switch on the notifications so that you don't miss any videos that I post on this channel. I know you may also have questions when you watch my videos. Your questions are welcome and are all valid. However, please also check the comment section and see if your question has not been asked and answered already. Next question. Which yarn are you using? I use three ply or double knit acrylic yarn. Any yarn or cotton will do as long as it's not too thin. Otherwise, it will tend to break the hair. Will it dry out my hair? Yes and no. Yarn tends to dry hair out. So, it may dry your hair if you do not prep your hair well before plating, like to moisturize and seal well before the hairstyle, just like I did in this hairstyle that I'm doing now. You should also be moisturizing your hair regularly while you have the hairstyle on your hair. All this should be done with any protective style anyway, so nothing different with needle cone rolls. Next person, can I use braiding hair to do the hairstyle? Yes, you can. Check out this video where I use braiding hair. The outcome is a little bit different, but beautiful still. How long does this style stay on your hair? Well, that depends from person to person. The maximum I've seen someone keep this hairstyle for is six weeks, but that's like the maximum. I don't recommend keeping it any longer than that. Next person, please, madam, how can <laughs> how can we remove the thread from the hair? You can check out this video where I demonstrate the same. I basically pick the yarn off the hair with a needle or a red tail comb. Next person, where are you based? I am based in Edenville, Houghton, South Africa. I know a lot of people have been asking me that question. I think almost on every one of my videos, which is amazing. I like that. Comments like, are you in Nigeria, the UK, Florida, in the States? No, guys, I'm in South Africa. So you gotta visit South Africa. <laughs> and the other question is, does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Unless you're pull the yarn too much with any other hairstyle if you're going to pull the hair that will hurt when i do it it doesn't hurt at all you don't even feel as if your hair is being done if it hurts then the hair has been pulled too much it's the way you do it the process can someone do this hairstyle on their own you can definitely do it on your own here i've done it on my hair but to be honest i couldn't finish the whole head so i just did the front because i struggle with the needle cornrows but you can definitely do it i think there are other people who have done it here on youtube especially if you are used to doing your own hair then it is possible for you to do it okay so she says i want to try this on my daughter how long should the yarn be and do you fold the yarn to secure the knot at the end the first part the yarn should be long enough for you to cover the whole section of hair that you are doing at a time but if it does not cover that then you can always join the yarn and then hide it under the hair and the next question is do you fold the yarn to secure a knot at the end 
yes, I normally do that. I normally for the end at the end, for time and not to secure the end. That is only African threading that I do to finish a section, by the way. You guys are the best. Like, I don't really have a lot of ugliness on my videos. You are the best. Thank you so much. Like, I can even do a jingle for you. My viewers are the best. My viewers are the best. My viewers, my viewers, my viewers are the best. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, thank you so much. God bless you. Bye.